Hello grade 7. Our physics lesson today is about electrical measurements. Electrical measurements. The electric current. Direction of an electric current. Document 1 shows a boy playing with a remote controlled car. It operates through an electric motor. By using the remote control, this boy can roll the car forward or backwards. How does the electric current allow the car to move in both directions? According to the connections across the terminals of the dry cell, the motor rotates in one direction or the other. By convention, the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal outside the dry cell. You notice in this video that the motor rotates clockwise. Let's flip the dry cell to reverse its terminals. Now the motor rotates in the other direction. This is due to the flow of the current from the positive terminal to the negative terminal outside the dry cell. Electric current. We have a 3 volts lamp and 3 identical dry cells, 1, 2 and 3 of 1.5 volts each, in order to draw the 3 circuits. The brightness of the lamp in the third circuit is the strongest. Since a different current flows through the lamp in the three circuits, we can conclude that the brightness of the lamp increases when the current flowing through it increases. So when the current flowing through a lamp increases, the lamp glows brighter. Let's increase the number of batteries in the circuit. We notice that when increasing the number of batteries, the brightness of the lamp increases. When the current flowing through the lamp increases, the lamp glows brighter. Multimeter. A multimeter is a device that possesses several functions. It can function as an ammeter or as a voltmeter, for example, and it is used for several types of measurement. It measures the current if it's used as an ammeter and the voltage if it's used as a voltmeter. Measuring the current using an ammeter. To measure the current, the multimeter here is used as an ammeter. We choose the ammeter range and we choose the greatest scale with which we obtain the approximate value of the current. According to this value, we will choose the value of the scale that is slightly larger than the measured current. The COM terminal of the multimeter should be connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal of the battery should be connected to 10A or milliamperes. The multimeter must be connected in series in this case. The electric current is expressed in ampere in the international system of units. It is measured using an ammeter connected in series in the circuit. As you can see, the device is connected in series. The COM terminal is connected to the negative pole of the battery and the positive pole of the battery is connected to milliamperes. Now let's reverse the connections. We obtain a negative value on the screen to warn us that our connections should be switched since in this case the COM terminal is connected to the positive pole of the battery and milliamperes is connected to the negative pole of the battery. Measuring the voltage using a voltmeter. To measure the voltage between two points of a circuit, you must connect the multimeter in parallel. Connect the COM terminal to the negative terminal of the battery and the V terminal in this case to the positive terminal of the battery. Always start on the greatest scale in the range of the voltmeter with which we obtain the approximate value of the current. According to this value, we will choose the value of the scale that is slightly larger than the measured current. Voltage is expressed in volt in the international system of units. It is measured using a voltmeter connected in parallel across the terminals of an electric component. So when connecting the voltmeters, 
first you should notice that you must connect it in parallel then you must pay attention to connect the COM terminal of the voltmeter to the negative pole of the battery and the V terminal of the voltmeter to the positive pole of the battery. Then we start with the greatest scale in the range of the voltmeter. We obtain the approximate value of the current. Next I try the smaller scales. When the number 1 appears to the left side of the screen, it means that the chosen scale on the range is very small. So I choose the scale that is right before it. There is always voltage across the terminals of a dry cell, whether placed in a circuit or isolated. The voltage across the terminals of a closed switch is zero. The voltage across the terminals of an open switch is not zero, but it is equal to the voltage across the terminals of the dry cell in the circuit. The voltage across the terminals of an unlit lamp in an open circuit is zero. The voltage across the terminals of a connecting wire is zero. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.